Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Counter-Strike Source dedicated server. First you go to Google and search for HLDS Update Tool. Choose one website and download it. Uh, once it downloaded, you run it and well, I, I need to advise that you you should choose this path CHL server which is easier to install plugins or mods and update your Counter-Strike server so now go to the HL server and create a shortcut to your desktop and copy the command that I'm going to give you in the description to the properties of the shortcut and click apply now run it and uh, the server will download the files this should take a bit so I cut the video and once it downloaded I will start again and helping you guys okay so it's done you've downloaded all the files and now you go to the folder where you installed HLDS update tool go to orange box and create a shortcut of SRCDS to your sh desktop copy this command I'm going to show it in description and paste it in the properties of the shortcut okay so now we are going to open ports for CSS server the ports you need to open will be in description to help you guys open it easier oops wrong password in almost all routers there's uh, a space for gaming or application search for that and you will be able to open ports now you create a new game so CSS manual entry of port maps get next these are the ports Happening. Oh, I already have one application with that name, so I'd server. Okay, don't worry, not important. Now you you will add the ports, all those ports.
Okay, this, this last port is not important, so you just go ahead, choose the application, click add. Okay, it uh, showed up right there. Now I, you can close everything, but there's one thing very important we need to do. It's create server.cfg. It's the main file for your Counter-Strike Source server. So, it's not... Okay, this is important. Archon password. If you give it to anyone, they will have access to admin commands. Okay, just run CFG Maker and copy all these commands to a notepad file and paste it and save as server.cfg. In save type, you choose all files and you will save it in HL server, orange box, C strike, CFG. Okay, everything's done. You just run the server, wait for it to connect to Steam servers, I think, and the green message to appear. I've already added the server to my server list in Steam. So just put the LAN tab, wait it to connect, okay. Refresh, yes, there it is. In now online, it's online. Same server, as you can see. Okay, everything works. Uh okay guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. See ya.